beloved. I thank you so much for your time. Thank you for joining me on the Prophetic Vessel Show. This will be your message from God, Ra, Allah, Source, the Divine. I'm grateful for your time. To those who are keen on becoming members of my Patreon, on my Patreon, I offer weekly signed readings for $10 per month based on love as well as spiritual path. On my Patreon, I also offer personal readings. For $50 per month, you get a personal reading from me every month based on love, spiritual path, as well as career and finances. The link is listed down in my description box below if you want to tap in and join my Patreon. Or you can join by typing what is on the screen via Google. Search it and it will also lead you to my Patreon where you can join. All right. Let us tap in and find out why we spiritually live here. What is here for you, beloved? Why did you resonate with the title? And why did your own YouTube algorithm present you with this message? Let us tap in and talk to God, okay? I just heard that um, someone is not done with you, all right? I just heard that to audiently, all right, that message came through. I heard someone is not done with you. Let's tap in and see what this is about. We have the Hierophant reversed. We have the Fool upright. We have the King of Swords upright, and then we have the Page of Wands upright. We have the Strength card here, we have Strength. We have Leo, Aries. We have Aquarius. We have, um, Taurus and Scorpio energy here. What I'm seeing is I feel like someone is not over a specific situation that they had with you, all right? They don't they don't feel like this is over. All right? Someone still has some form of hope, faith that this situation between the both of you can be redeemed, all right? There is still an opportunity. There is still a chance that you guys can figure out a way to move forward and you guys can find um, a way to, to reconcile, all right? It's like this person wants a, a second opportunity. They want a second chance, okay? This person wants you to see things from a new perspective. It's sort of like they want to put a certain energy into, into this that will make you see things differently than how you used to see them. So let's take for instance an analogy, a reference point, a case study. An example would be that this person was the one that failed you, right? They broke your trust. They broke the commitment. Look at how this ring is running away, y'all. They broke the trust. They broke the commitment. All right. They broke a certain promise that had to do with the specific connection you shared with them. And they broke the bond, therefore. 
They want to come in with a new energy that will put you in a position to see things differently so that you don't see, like, you don't see the, the betrayal. You see, and you, you have a new hope in things. Like, they want you to not see the betrayal. They want you to see this situation in a way that there's new hope in this. You know what I'm saying? It's like this person, they want to change your perspective here. They want to make you understand things in a different way. And they strongly want to pursue this outcome here. They strongly want you to change how you see and look at them. Because they know what they did. They know how it made you feel. And they know that, you know, there's no double backing or changing of anything and they feel like if they change themselves and they come towards you you don't see them in the way that you used to no you see the betrayal all right this person is trying to figure out a way to come forward that will make you feel like you can trust them again or have hope in things again and and try and have faith to redeem and 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 you know, have the faith to, 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 to want to reconcile with them. Although this person might not be sure that you will take upon this opportunity, you will grant them that permission, but they want to take the necessary steps, okay? They're willing to do whatever it takes. We have the chariot, all right? They're willing to do whatever it takes because they don't want you moving on here. Okay, somebody doesn't want you moving on. They don't they don't want to be somebody of the past. All right, they don't want you to be in this energy where there's new opportunities when it comes to lovers. They don't want you to pick anyone else outside of them. They want you to stay stuck on their energy or rather stay in the energy of believing that they are the one for you. All right. So there's a way in which they're planning an approach here. They're planning to come towards you in a certain way. And they feel like when they come towards you in this way, you will see things differently. And you will strongly feel the need to also change your mind about this whole situation. You won't want to break this bond all right, anymore. You will want to heal things with the star energy. You want to move forward and heal things with them and take the initiative to, you know what, build upon new hope. It's like this person, whatever they want to do here, it's in a way of they want to say things they never used to say. They want to do things they never used to do. They feel like that's what's going to build on this hope and enable you to not move forward anymore with your life. All right, somebody doesn't want you walking away here. They want you tapped in within their energy and their energy alone. I'm kind of getting a possessive sort of person here. Somebody that would rather go through a lot to keep you in the energy of having them in your mind. Like even if you have someone new, like they will show up or do something or say something so that they, it's like this is to keep you in the energy of always having them in your mind, not feeling like, okay, you know what I'm saying? You can just move on because they if they on your mind. All right? They don't, this is a form of controlling. All right? They want to control the situation. They want to control you by always reminding you, sort of. You know what I'm saying? Reminding you about who they are or who they were to you and hoping that that puts you in a position to not want to move forward or not have it in you to move forward. And you have no choice but to go back to them. Damn, like, that's kind of delusional though, you know what I'm saying? Because I feel like this person is delaying the inevitable. They, they want to put so much obstacles in your life by approaching this situation in a certain way. And these obstacles are to create a level of control over the situation where they can come in and say something and then it puts you in your head again. Or they can come in and do something and it makes you feel like, okay, maybe this can be redeemed. Maybe there is a possibility to reconcile. There is this new hope energy. It's like this person, they just want to put you in a position for, for you to feel like there is no moving on outside of them. 
all right? They want you stuck and trapped in their energy. They don't want you to move on here. They don't care what they have to do or what decisions they have to make or what choices they have to make and how much time they spend in this energy. As long as they get you back and they, they make you change your mind about moving forward, they'll do, they'll do anything here. This person here has the energy of an obsessor or someone that's very fixated on your energy here, all right? They want to sort of bombard you with false sort of sweet nothings, either with their actions or their words. These sweet nothings that are false are meant to put you in your head, make you rethink and reconsider. Enable your heart to, 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 to feel differently. Like this person is doing whatever it takes here. And they want to come at you hard. Like it's not just them sending a message. I feel like this person wants to do more than just that. Like they want to put you in a position where you feel like you have to reconsider something here. You have to stop moving forward. You, you're not, you're not just going to walk away you have to go back to them we have the ace of wands this could even be them trapping you with sex or with memories of how things used to be or with the things that they used to say that made you happy like whatever it takes to trap you they'll use it against you here i feel like this person has specific things of you like items um text messages as well as pictures here, things that they look at, things that they think about. When they look at them, they, they, they just think about you and they think about how things used to be and they just, they just don't see themselves outside of you. And it just puts them more in the energy of wanting to block you from moving forward with your life. I feel like, it, it, like this is the type of person to look at your pictures and go like, hmm. I wonder how they're going to look in five years and I, I don't want to be, you know, an ex. I don't want to be somebody that they just forget about. I don't want to be there when they change and evolve and do this and do that. I want to, even though they cause you pain, even though all they do is hurt you, they, they still want you to care and have them in your life and look at them as your one true love and all these sort of things that are delusional here. Because of what? They don't want you to walk away. I'm channeling like certain choices and decisions that they're willing to make so that they don't stay out in this cold or they don't stay in the energy of being left out in the cold by you, right? So that you return to being this vulnerable person towards them. You show them mercy, you show them affection, you show them love. Like you return back to who you used to be and then, you know, that's, that's what they care about so that they can have that power over you. So that they can, you know, do whatever now. Because now you are back where they used to you being in. So these choices and decisions they're willing to make is like, they're willing to take certain steps here. Yeah, we have the devil. Certain things that they're willing to do here that are like dangerous or cynical in a way that like, it put like this is like a psycho type of a person here. Like, like this is definitely someone of a psycho here. Someone that doesn't have it in them to be of, you know, of love. They just suck the life out of you. They suck the love out of you, and that's what they call love. It's like this person wants to. Put themselves in a position where you are definitely not going to just up and leave or you are definitely no longer going to be in this energy of not being vulnerable to them. They want to put themselves in that position and hoping that it will attract that outcome, that favor, so that they now go back to having control as they want, all right? And with this devil coming out here, it's like this person is attached to you here, all right? They're attached, strongly attached to your energy here. And they're just not willing to hear you 
say like, you know what, I choose myself, I'm done with this, like none of those words, none, like that's that person's energy, they just don't want to hear it, and whatever, and the crazy thing, like why, why I picked up Psycho here, is that however many years pass, months pass, or however much time passes, when you, when you are not in this person's life, you think they're moving on, or you know, you think that they, they, they're not thinking about you, or they, you know, you, because you are healing, you think they're doing the same, but this person here, they're thinking of ways to come into your energy, they're thinking of ways to do all sorts of things because of this attachment here that they have, all right, because they just don't want to see you moving forward without them, mm -hmm. Yeah, like I said, this person is, look at that, we have the Two of Cups, the Identity Cup, the Ace of Pentacles. They're literally in this energy of trying to figure out how they can come back to you. How they can, what they can say, what they can do to make you rethink, change your mind. To make you look at them again in a certain type of way. Like, they working hard on these ideas, trying to think of, okay, if I do it like this, if I say it like that, like, somebody is a little psycho here for real. And they willing to take your love, even if you don't want to give it to them. They want to put you in a compromising position somehow. This attachment is dangerous here because whatever this person is willing to do, they're willing to take certain measures with it. I'm being asked not to specify because it varies for all of you, but think of somebody that's willing to do whatever it takes to get their way. And they don't care if you don't feel the top. They don't care if you don't feel the same way about them anymore because they feel the, they feel the same way about you and they more worse than who they used to be. Take that out, resonates. They worse than how they used to be here because you think they're working on themselves or they should work on themselves when all they're thinking about is reconnecting back to you. How or what it would take, what they need to do, how they, they need to go about it to get back into your good graces somehow. Even if they see that there isn't anything that they can do, they just want to push and push and push. Like this is somebody here that, that they're just not right. I feel like their mental is like unstable or something, or they just disturbed or something. Cause the way in which they're going about this, I feel like somebody is willing to even get to the point where you have to get some form of restraining order or something here. Because they're not willing to listen when you say you're done. They strongly want you to return here. And whatever they have to do, right? Even if it means going against the law, like, or being a stalker and having you feel, you know, like, watched or talking to people that you're close to so that they find out information, inquiring about you. Like, this is somebody that is like a psycho here. Someone is not right. Their mental is, is not right here. They will be unstable and, and, and just a little disturbed, man. And you are working on yourself while all they're thinking about is coming back to your energy and how they're going to do it and what. And maybe you've already established that you're done. And the fact that they're still in this energy, that's just real psycho. I'm being called to end this message here, right? This is your message. This was your message from God, Ra, Allah, Source. The divine, I'm grateful for your time. Thank you so much for joining me on the Prophetic Vessel Show. To those who are keen or interested in booking me for my services, I do offer, you know, um, services via my Patreon. I offer weekly sign readings for $10 per month based on love as well as spiritual path. On my Patreon, I also offer personal readings. For $50 per month, you get a personal reading from me every month based on, excuse me, based on love, spiritual path, as well as career and finances. The link is listed down in my description box below if you want to tap in and join my Patreon. Or you can tap in by typing what is on the screen via Google. Search it and it also lead you to my Patreon website where you can join. Thank you to those who have already and those who are thinking about doing it. I will see you all soon. Goodbye.